What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to be going over a few things in this video primarily here today regarding the Halloween franchise. We'll be talking about some insider thoughts on this upcoming Halloween cinematic universe is being envisioned now that Miramax has rights to the film franchise and TV rights. And we'll be going over this pitch, one of the rumored pitches I've had shared with me as it pertains to what a Halloween 4 legacy sequel could look like if it were to be decided on as the next route to go. So this Halloween 4 legacy sequel pitch was shared with me as one of the rumored stories that have an opportunity to become the next Halloween film that revives Michael Myers. There's a deck board and a pitch that's already been written up. If you recall, earlier this year, Miramax won TV rights to the IP, which that series as reports detailed is envisioned to potentially launch a cinematic universe spanning film and television now before i go over the basics of this pitch i did want to recap some skepticism from insiders about this franchise's upcoming cinematic universe approach this comes from los angeles magazine this is also written up by jeff snyder who for those of you who know jeff snyder you know that they have been right about a lot of things in the past so Halloween is, one person said, Halloween is a dog of a purchase. A veteran screenwriter known in horror circles tells Los Angeles Magazine, I understand why someone would want to get a hold of A Nightmare on Elm Street or Friday the 13th, but we just did the big Halloween trilogy that was supposedly the thing fans wanted this whole time, and I'd argue that those films were a fucking drag. And then someone else said, there is no rich lore to explore. There's no deeper story left untold. It's the Terminator at this point. A franchise in name only where all the meat has been stripped from the bones and all that's left is an endless retread of the same tired formula. Then someone else said Halloween as a franchise has rich mythology, but I'm not sure there's enough there for a new movie and a TV show. Uh, this is from a studio exec who pointed to the franchise's diminishing box office returns. Now, it is true. If you if you recall, yes, they were still profitable, but each subsequent return after the 2018 film was a diminishing return financially. Granted, though, of course, these are slashing films and not being made for anything overly expensive. So that's why they always still remain profitable. But it's not it's not uh, like basically you still would have to acknowledge that there is obviously truth to what they're saying. Each film after the 2018 film financially the box office return was not the same it didn't surpass what the 2018 movie did it was just a diminishing return time and time again they're lucky of course that it was not any expensive films that they were putting out because otherwise these wouldn't have been considered profitable anyway these comments were collected again by insider jeff snyder for those of you who know who that is know that they have been reliable in the past i go back to the point about about someone saying this is being like terminator at this point where we get endless retreads of the same formula i mean yeah but if it ain't broke don't fix it i can appreciate the shakeups in the formulas that help keep things fresh at least i would argue it's the execution of certain films that can be improved is all and obviously do not have a team of people like david gordon green and danny mcbride who also then bring in scott teams who clearly don't want to do anything that is innately more horrific as it as opposed to jump just something that is filled with scares and comedy as well not that there hasn't been comedy in the halloween franchise in the past but i would argue that when you got to halloween kills which i think is the one that included scott teams that one was the jokiest one of them all it had a lot of serious moments but halloween ends was a step in the right direction granted the narrative structure isn't what i agree with mostly when it comes to that movie I think that could have been the first entry in the trilogy and Halloween 2018 could have been what Halloween ends ultimately was, which was the conclusion to the trilogy. But I digress. Anyway, let's get into this legacy sequel pitch for Halloween four. So this story again was shared with me from someone who is involved with this process. Now, this is one of the rumored pitches. This would have included the return of Jamie Lloyd. It's decades after she attacked her foster mom. Michael has been presumed dead. Rachel is back in the fold. Meeker is back from what I recall. Jamie's whereabouts from four to now are made clear, but let's just say she's been rehabilitated, if you will. Uh, Michael's absence or presumed death in the town of Haddonfield is rooted in the new origins that are explored for Michael, because again, this will serve as a direct sequel to Halloween 4. It's disregarding all the things that happened in 5, mostly all the things that happened in 6, so there is no thorn and all of that crap. So, 
Michael had some interesting decisions that he made at a very young age, and that's what triggered the bloodline must die trend that we see from him during the Thorn and H2O timeline. Michael's appearances in this pitch are also described as almost similar to Jason's in the Friday the 13th The New Blood, which I believe was part seven. Forgive me, it's been a while since I've rewatched that franchise. The reason for this is because he's just been lying in that mine shaft ever since the events of the Halloween 4 shooting finale. Jamie's exit from Haddonfield kept him dormant, but her return causes her uncle to be revived and the story goes from there. Now the logistics of all of that, as we have been getting presented as soon as early as the Halloween 4 opening with just her name mentioning waking him up, all of that gets explained in this pitch. I'm just not trying to go into all of the spoilers. Now, nothing about this has officially been picked up. Rachel's inclusion exists to simply rewrite the wrongs of Halloween 5, and this legacy sequel would have no Thorn Lore at all, like I previously mentioned. But Jamie does have a fiance in the story, and there's still something that happens to her that is reminiscent of what you see at the beginning of Halloween 6, just not by her uncle. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. <laughs> so all the lore, again, is connected to this revelation about Michael's decision he made as a young boy. And then we also meet a major newcomer who is connected to Michael's childhood. I'm preserving a lot of specifics because that will that's what was asked of me. But what do you guys think about the basics surrounding this pitch so far? And do you think a Halloween cinematic universe would be a bad idea like these other insiders have commented? These comments were from October. I just didn't really see too many people making making the rounds about this article because it's from october it is written up by jeff snyder jeff snyder again has proven themselves to be reliable in the past so i figured it was something worth talking about the skepticism that's already out there surrounding this approach i know that a few fans are already like well what would you even do for a cinematic universe with something that should be very simplistic as michael myers other than possibly opening up the multiverse in some capacity and telling different stories and stuff like that but even that seems a little bit cartoonish for this for a slasher franchise but we'll just have to wait and see what do you think about the basics to the halloween 4 legacy sequel let me know about all of that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video